Story over on KSAT. Local church pushing back against the city now. The local church has been feeding and showering, offering warm showers to the homeless in downtown. It's called the Life Restored Church. The story is appearing on, uh, on KSAT. The pastor over there, Alex Fleming is his name, said he started this ministry four years ago when he heard of a homeless man in downtown. It was very cold, wintertime, heard of a homeless man dying, uh, freezing to death. And he said God spoke to him and said, you're going to take care of the homeless today. So he canceled church services on that day and instead welcomed and opened the doors and had the homeless come into the church. And since that time, he converted the shed in the back to a two-stall shower. And according to him, it's a beautiful thing. It's 100 square feet. Code enforcement went out there and told them, well, it's got to be 300 square feet encasement, so you've got to build it bigger. They did. They, they did a fundraiser, raised $12,000, start building everything the right way. And then they, uh, the, the, they, they, the city came back and said, well, now you've got this problem. And now you've got that problem. And now you've got this and that problem. And so he said he bought the, the uh, property. He said, I knew it was industrial, but the city told me I could put a church anywhere, so that's what I did. He said his ministry has helped at least 20 homeless individuals get off the street, find God, get their own jobs in their own homes. In other words, giving these people a hand up, not a hand out, giving them an opportunity to get on their feet, a warm shower, a hot meal, and a place to, uh, to find a way to get a job. This is ridiculous. And at every turn, the city comes to them and says, oh, you can't do that. No, 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 no. He's been hit with eight hundred dollars in fines. I'll bet you that right now, you guys who listen to the Jack Riccardi program here on KTSA could cure that eighteen hundred dollars for him, don't you think? The Life Restored Church. The pastor is Alex Fleming. If you decide you want to put ten dollars in that deal to help cure the eighteen hundred dollars in fines, the fines. Get this, are for feeding the homeless, having showers without a permit plumbing, and having a fence built that he installed near the showers to comply with his neighbors. He says the fines are not only an attack on the church, but a violation of his First Amendment right to religion. He said, if I'm a church, who dictates my function as a church? The Bible does that. I'm not going to let you, meaning the city, dictate what the church does. The feeding and the showers, who said that was different from the church? You can't tell us the church is the only uh, is only to do Sunday morning services. Isn't that amazing? He's doing exactly what we hear so many people criticize the church about. Well, you don't do you don't take care of people during the week. You're only open on Sundays. You only preach and sing on Sundays. You don't do anything else. Here's a guy all week long going out getting the homeless and bringing them. He was given 30 days to respond to code enforcement. He said the city was trying to charge him $3,000 to apply. He said it's mind-boggling all the red tape that he's had to go through just to try to feed the homeless. And in fact, apparently, he had another uh, person from the city, another inspector from the city, the Development Services Department. They came out, and uh, he invited them in, and he said the inspector wouldn't even come in. She was there to take a look at the food. And then they said, well, you can't hand out this food because you don't have a food license. Now, he said, no, wait a minute, I'm going down to the restaurant, I'm buying this food, they're bagging it up, it's like, you know, go-home bags, take-home food. He's bringing that, and he's feeding the homeless and giving them a hot shower, and the city is fining him and standing in his way. And you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because he's competition for Haven for Hope. And the city doesn't want any competition for Haven for Hope. Because if there's competition for Heaven for Hope, that means the homeless are not going there and their multi-million dollar investment in downtown San Antonio goes down the tubes. That's why they're hitting him with all these fines and all this red tape. Pete, go right ahead. You're on. You kind of stole my thunder about Haven for Hope, but hey, man, I know a lot of veterans that are homeless that I talk to on a daily basis. And I'm a veteran, too. You know that. So um, a lot of them tell me I wouldn't even want to go to Haven for Hope. I'll sleep in my car. And most of the time, I send homeless vets to the American GI Forum. And I'm sorry that Pastor Fleming's going through what he's going through. And if y'all have a pledge drive, I'll donate 50 bucks to his legal fees. All right. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate it very much. More on this and more of your calls coming up at 210-599-5555. You want to sound off on this? Is the city right for going over and finding this pastor? All he's trying to do is feed him and shower the homeless in downtown San Antonio. What do you think?